Hello Mustangs, let's go over how to add a numerical response question to your Scantron, aka Gridables. Right now I have three questions coded with the answer and standards from the previous video. I want to click add question and the type of question I want to create is a numerical response and another screen will pop up. This is where you will enter the answer to your numerical response question. So let's say it's 42. Then you're going to click the options tab. And this is where you can customize the gridable. You can have a fixed decimal point where it stays in one spot or a floating where the students have to bubble in where the decimal point is. And you can change the amount of places before and after the decimal point. That's pretty much all you need to know on how to customize the gridables. Also, if you need to code this question, you'll select the standard. And sometimes they don't have a reporting category. It just depends on what is populated. And then you're going to click Finished. And boom, you have added a gridable question to your test make sure you click save or let's say the gridable is actually number three and not number four you can use these up and down arrows to move the position of the question and so now it's question three click save and if you need to share that with a team member you can click share and type in their name and send it to them so let's just take a quick look at the scantron just to see what it looks like. So you're going to click Analyze, Test Available, and you're going to see Sample Test, Four Question Count, Blue Arrow. Let's just select one class period and print the answer key. And there you go. Four places before the, de the fixed decimal point, three places after, question number three. Email us if you have questions. Thanks, bye.